Hello and welcome back to another video on my channel. I am Harish uh, and on this channel I talk about uh, various no-code tools, low-code tools and all sorts of tools that are available for people with uh, no code experience to be able to build stuff. And uh, in this example, we are going to look at uh, how to build an application that can run either on web or iOS or Android where you can have a form and uh, when somebody fills the form the data goes to google sheet this was requested by one of the subscribers in uh, one of my videos where they wanted to see how we can push data to google sheets through thunkable so uh, thunkable is the platform that we will use for this video and essentially there are three steps that we need to follow so to make it easier what i've decided to do is just write down the steps and then um, do the uh, building part of it so first step is to create the ui in thunkable second step is to create the api what is an api api is a way to uh, send and receive data from a third party tool it can be a, a google sheet it can be a youtube api it can be a, a bunch of things where you can pull data or push data right in this case we are going to send data to google sheets and uh, the third step is to uh, create the blocks logic in thunkable to link the app to google sheets right so that's it there are different ways to do it uh, one of them is to uh, use google app script but that needs coding so to make this easier, uh, what we will do is let's first create the UI. So we'll we'll start with the first step. So let's quickly go to Thunkable. And uh, in Thunkable, what I would do is I would start with creating a new project. I would name this uh, form. Okay, let's let's name it Thunkable to Sheets. And uh, by default, all the projects in Thunkable are uh, public. If you want them to be private uh, you'll have to purchase a subscription right so this is the screen that you get and uh, what we are going to do is uh, as the first step to create the ui uh, we we will uh, create a simple form where we have uh, three fields uh, or probably four fields uh, which is name email um, phone number and uh, then a query right so let's uh, quickly start with uh, adding a label so on the left uh, you can see you will find a label i'll just click and drag and drop it here by default all of them are center aligned so what i would do is i'll click on the outside and uh, make this top and uh, left aligned so that it starts from the top left corner of the screen right so <clears throat> what we'll do is we'll change the label content to um, this is just an example so i'm just going to say an example project to show how to push data to google sheets using an api from thunkable right and then let's create the form uh, i'll quickly add a heading under this so you can change the font size to uh, a larger font size if you're adding an adding a heading you can also change the style if you want it to be normal or italic you can add bold you can align the text to be left or center however you want i'll quickly change the text to my form and then the next step obviously is to add uh, all the fields so what we will do is uh, on the left you can see text input so i'm going to grab and add text inputs here so for the text input let me drag it below the heading okay 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 yeah so let's make this uh, 100 percent width and uh, in the hint we will say your full name and then i'm going to change this to a much more easier one to recognize this is uh, helpful when we are building the logic of the app right so uh, let me quickly add the other fields as well so without talking i'll do that so let's get to that
right so we've created the form and uh, now <clears throat> the other two things that we want to add is one to show a pop-up when uh, data is successfully added to uh, the sheet and the second one is obviously uh, the api so we'll be using a web api component which is an invisible component where fields are visible and web api is not visible but you can still use it so i'll just quickly drag and drop that and uh, for alerts we'll also use the alert uh, interface component right so these are added i'll just rename this to uh, sheets api alert alert can stay alert right so that's it we've done uh, creating the user interface so uh, going back to our uh, second step second step is to create the api right so let's see how to do that to do that there are different tools that are also available uh, which offer a freemium type of model where you pay uh, after you exceed a limit right so one of the tools that we will use uh, for this is going to be sheet db.io and the pricing for it is something like this where you get two spreadsheet apis and uh, 500 requests per month and the other tool that you can also try is uh, sheetsu.com uh, where they give you uh, unlimited APIs, but only 200 requests per month at 20 rows per sheet. So sign up for an account. Uh, I already have an account, so I'm going to log in. And once I log in, it says uh, there are no APIs. So we'll create one API. To create that, uh, the first step is to create one new sheet. So I'll do sheets.new. And uh, here, what we will do is we'll rename the sheet just to make sure we know which sheet we are working with. And then add the headings in the first row uh, of the form fields that we've created right so let me just say thankable to sheets and here we'll do name phone email and query <coughs> or yeah i'll do name email phone that was the other and uh, that's it uh, we don't need anything else i'm just going to copy the url and go back to sheetdb.io and say create new it'll ask me for the google sheet url so i'm going to paste that oh sorry i'm going to yeah i'm going to paste the url and create the api and once i click on create our api should be ready and uh, if you want to read the documentation you can go uh, click here and read the documentation but uh, since i've already tried this out what you have to do is just copy this url uh, to be able to send data to this and if you click on the api settings you can change a bunch of things uh, where uh, you can set up if you want uh, security you can enable basic authentication where it will give you a username and password that to access this specific google sheet but for this example we'll just keep it like this if you want to remove delete put patch uh, get permissions which is essentially reading and uh, uh, updating rows if you don't want all of those you can disable them for this video will not use them but i will still uh, let them be like that and click on save api now we have the api ready and we have the ui ready so the last step is to link right so we'll quickly create uh, the logic for this and also test the application out once this is done also you can remember that this application will work on uh, an ios phone or an android phone or uh, also on the web you get a url uh, which you can share uh, with whatever type of application you're building uh, to get data right if you want to uh, gather feedback from users or any sort of application where you have uh, data coming in and you want to store it in the google sheet right so with that said let me remove this and uh, go back to thunkable and the next step obviously the final step is to create the blocks so i'll go to block section and in the block section uh, the first step and the only step that we need is uh, we have a button right uh, so where is the button we have the submit button so when somebody clicks on submit that is when uh, we have to store right so i'm going to click on submit and uh, yeah when submit dot click we do a bunch of things right so the first step is to set the api url to what we just created which is right here i'm going to click it and copy it uh, and then go back here and uh, yeah when somebody clicks this i'm going to set the api sheets api url to a specific value which we just copied so under text block you can copy this and paste it here and after this what i'm going to do is uh, 
send data to the API, right? So we have to create data in a certain format. So going back to the documentation, uh, here in the sheet DB API, you can see the post section where you create a row, right? The data should be sent in this format, right? So what we'll do is we'll format data to be sent in this format and make sure this header is set with the API and then push the data. So what I will do is let me quickly create the blocks and then I will explain to you what uh, section of the block does what, right? So let's quickly do that. All right, so that's pretty much the logic that is needed to uh, send data. So I'll quickly walk you through what we're doing. We're sending the URL to the uh, API URL that we copied from here. And then uh, we are formatting the data to this format. So pretty much creating everything. If you have more fields, please uh, add more fields here in this part. Uh, and then uh, we are also calling the post. So post is basically uh, where you send data to the URL that you mentioned. So for uh, if the post is successful, uh, status is 200. How do I know to check uh, the status? I hear if you go to HTTP status code, 200 OK is where it means that the request has succeeded and your data is gone and stored in the Google Sheet. And then uh, if it is success, I'm just going to show success as the uh, as an alert. So this is going to show up because I'm setting the title and the message of the alerter here. And uh, yeah, with that, I think uh, we are good to go. Uh, what we will do as a next step is uh, obviously see the demo. So to see the demo, the first step that you can do is uh, click on live test. And uh, you can also download a Thunkable app on your mobile phone from where you can test it. Or you can also test it from right from here. Or also you can test it using a responsive web app that gets created uh, in this URL. So it is obviously getting cut off because my screen is uh, not aligned but yeah this pretty much works so <clears throat> yeah what we will do is we'll quickly test it here let's hope uh, it works so i'm gonna do let's see. yes and it worked so uh, alternatively what you can do is uh, you can add different types of messages in the alert box uh, here in the block section you can add uh, a different message here uh, once the request is successful if you want to say okay your data is stored and then you can clear the fields so how do you clear the fields i think it is pretty simple just select the field on the left and then set text to and this will uh, become empty so once the data is successful uh, the data here it becomes empty you can also show a loading progress bar instead of an alert or and once it is done you can show a simple label so that's how you pretty much send data to a uh, google sheet from thunkable using a simple api uh, from sheetdb.io also please remember that uh, they have a limitation in terms of uh, how many requests you can do on a free account if you go to usage you can see how many uh, uh, requests you've already made how many APIs you've already created and uh, yes, that's it for this video. I hope you've liked this video uh, if you uh, Like the content and if you uh, appreciate the content, please do drop a like below and also consider subscribing uh, because I'm going to make more such videos 
uh, in the future too and if you have any specific question and if you want a specific video please drop a comment because i'm reading the comments and i'll uh, help you out with whatever request you have that's it peace